All right, man, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. You know what it is. So today we're going to be talking about Officer sicking his dog on a truck, black truck driver. And um, yeah, we'll be back, man. Sketch Pad. discuss this thing because um there's a couple of things i gotta say about police brutality and where i think we're at in america with this um and yeah so apparently uh not apparently but police had commanded his canine to attack or let's say a uh, bite but for some people um uh, what they call it, uh, not obtain, but, um, uh, control or whatever you want to call the word, um, basically has suck his dog on the truck driver. Now, from what we had uh, obtained and what we read, they're saying that the truck driver was speeding and they're saying that and we don't know. The situation that happened, we just know what we see for for right now. Now, I'm gonna get into some things, and a lot of people might disagree with me on this. A lot of people might agree with me on this. Who knows? But I can never take. What did what do we get this from? M M NBC, CBS. Yeah, NBC. I can never take. I just read the headline, and it said, whenever they mention race, it's a problem. Whenever they say, uh, officer suck his, sucked his dog on black man, that's a gaslight right there. Now I'm not, and, 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 and I'm not saying what the officer did was right. Cause it wasn't, I'm not saying that I'm saying they only use that to gaslight you and me. Because when you put the, the race of a person in the title, automatically you're going to say, see, this is exactly what cops do to black people. Right. That's a gaslight. We're yeah. not stupid. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know the full context of the, of what happened. All we know is the police officer suck his dog on black guy. And that's all they want you to know. They don't want you to know what actually happened. He could have did not did nothing. The police officer could be totally wrong. But this is what they're focusing on because they know that no matter what he did, we're only going to care about him being black and the officer being white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, right. before I let you go, um, how I feel about police brutality. Um, I'm one of those people that believes that police brutality in America is overblown. I don't think it's as big as, as people make it out to be. I do, and I will say that it does happen. It does. But I also believe that a lot of people use certain situations to make money off of it, to gaslight people, to keep people in control, to keep people voting a certain way, to keep people on one side of the aisle. They don't want you know, I mean, the opinions of people, all this stuff. That's how I feel. As far as the police sicking the dog on the guy, um, Unless the guy, to me personally, unless he had a weapon, he was threatening the police officer, there's no reason for you to sick the dog on him. If he ain't had no weapon and he wasn't threatening you, then why are you sicking the dog on him? That's stupid. I don't care if he was, I don't care if he was um, being defiant. He didn't do anything in a threatening manner. So why would you sick the dog on him? What, what's the point of that? And this is why people say police brutality exists because of stupid cops like this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even even if we don't know the whole situation, we do know that he wasn't threatening you in any type of way. So why would you sick the dog on him? What's the point of that? You have a gun. You have a taser. You ever been bit by a dog? 
You ever been yeah. bit by a dog? You understand? Yeah. A canine. The teeth is this long. That's like somebody stabbing you in your leg. Yeah. And then they, and the thing is, those wounds really never heal because when they bite you, they move. So just imagine somebody biting you on your hand. A dog, not somebody, but a dog biting you on your on your arm, and he's going like this. You won't forever be scarred. Yeah. That's a forever scar. And I don't think that these officers, some of these stupid officers, don't think about this. Was the guy threatening you? Did he do something? He pull out a weapon? What did he do for you to do that? Probably nothing. And this is why people believe that police brutality exists. Right there. Yeah. Uh, as I looked at the footage, I didn't see the dude do anything. He was just like, he was just like standing there against his truck. You know, um, he didn't look like he was a threat at all. So, and, 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 and mind you, you know what I mean? For those of you who might have seen everything and not just the piece of footage that was just shown, um, like, you know, what are we supposed to think? We just seen a little bit snippet of everything. So, you know, my first intentions when I'm looking at it is that, yo, he just sucked the dog on him for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand, okay, so he said he said the guy after after the after the incident, he said the guy was being defiant. And you know, he told he warned the guy a few times, you don't you don't uh get down, get down. He wanted basically the guy to just lay down. You don't lay down, I'm gonna sick the dog on you. Mind you, okay. If you don't be def if you're being defiant for not laying down, that's one thing. But I think that personal that issue right there, it just takes him to go over there and physically grab the guy and put him down. Mm -hmm. I don't think it deserves a gunshot. I don't think it deserves a dog, him sicking the dog on him or whatever. If you feel that threatened. But you don't, but he's not really threatening, but you feel that threatened, just grab him with another officer and put him down. Y'all don't got no problems doing it any other time. So, like, what what was the point of that? Because now it creates a big controversy. Oh, you see what the cops are doing? Now they're sicking their dogs on us, this and that, mm -hmm. and whatever. Mm -hmm. And it creates this diver division. Now, you get pulled over by the police, you know what I'm saying? Like it's already bad enough that you get pulled over uh, uh, by the police as a uh, as a person of color, and you get pulled over and your your hair stands up even though you didn't do nothing, mm -hmm. but you still feel you still feel like you know something could happen, but it, it makes it even worse now. You know what I mean for seeing something like that, and yeah. that's why I feel like you know officers should really learn how to communicate better when it comes to apprehending somebody you really need to learn how to do that a lot better because i feel like because they're in a certain power they overuse their power yeah. and sometimes they the overuse of their power results in death and a lot of times some of them could be good cops and they just don't mean to do it, but their backs are pressed against the wall. And I get it. When your back are pressed against the wall, that's a different, whole different story. But when it's something like that, come on, man. But like, my thing is your back, his back wasn't pressed against the wall. No. The guy was my, just standing there and you asked him to do something. Yeah. It ain't like now, I don't know if, if he ran his name and he had a warrant. Or something like that. But see, police officers are trained the way they're trained. They universe. They use universal tactics. Not, not and and this is what they're supposed to do. They use universal tactics, but they don't use that on everybody. Because I seen, I seen certain white guys to literally fight the cops and they ain't do nothing to them. I seen some black guys do the two, but it depends on the officer and it depends on where you at. Because some officers have this power strip in their head that they feel like they can do whatever and say whatever to you now because they tell you to do something in their head you're supposed to do it because they're the authority figure in the room and you are supposed to listen to them so if he tells you to get down you're supposed to get down once he threatened you and say 
get down or I'm going to sick the dog on you. Obviously, it's not about you telling him to get down because you literally want to just sick the dog on him, in my opinion. Because if the guy is standing there and he's not doing nothing to you, he ain't doing nothing, and he and he may be asking you because you know how it goes. The jujitsu system has these laws put in place. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, that's the first thing they say. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So if you say anything to a police officer, when y'all go to court, he's going to say, well, this is the reason why he did it. I did it is because he didn't listen to me. And you can say, well, I said this. And they can say, well, you have the right to remain silent. But anything you say can and will be used against you. So a lot of people got to understand. Sometimes it's just good to just be quiet. Don't even say nothing. Not even your name. Because they can't use it against you. Because they don't know your motive. They don't know anything. That's one. Two, if an officer, if they have the position in the room, which means they have the gun, the taser, and the dog, and he asks you to get on the ground, just get on the ground, dog. Because what are you going to do? Not get on the ground, and what's going to happen to you? One of them things going to happen. So if you're saying, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I don't know why you're doing this to me. Okay, cool. I would rather you get on the ground, let them lock you up, and you survive. Then you don't get on the ground, and they shoot you. Now you're dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I'm not justifying what the police officer... I'm just saying, you got to assess the situation. If it's right. if the police officer has the... If he has the high position, and you have the low position, nine times out of ten, you're going to get picked off. You know how it goes when it comes to snipers or whatever, they get you that way. They got the high road, the high guard, the high, uh, the high ground. Yeah. So if they got all, the, if they got all this stuff, just do what they ask you to do. And then you fight them in court because that's what lawyers are for. This one dude got locked up. He didn't even get locked up. I don't know if you've seen this case. He didn't even get locked up. He got pulled over. Cop asked him what he's doing. He said, I'm, I'm on my way to work. I'm actually at work right now. And he's like, well, let me see your ID. He said, I, I don't have to give you my ID. And he said, yes, you do. You were speaking. He said, no. He said, you He said you evaded me. He said, I didn't evade you. I was in traffic and I was trying to get over. No, you wasn't. He said, yes, I was. I was trying to get over. He said, I didn't evade you. I got, and he said, well, how did we get all the way out here? He said, because there was nowhere for me to pull over at. So I had to pull over at a safe space. I was worried about my life. I don't want to, you know. And he says, well, so what happened was Sergeant came. When the sergeant came, they asked him for his ID. He said, I don't have to give you my ID. I didn't do anything wrong. Tell me what law I broke. He knew what he's talking about, right? He didn't get the dog sicked on him or nothing like that. He ended up suing him and he won his case. So trust and believe there's lawyers who hate police officers and they're willing to sue the police departments because there's lawyers who know all about corruption that goes on and they can't stand them. So my thing is, when you know that you are in a bad position, just do what they ask you. Just do what they ask because if you don't, you could die. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. Just do what they ask you to do. Yeah, you're right. You're right, man. You're just right. do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now, again, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Maybe he might be able to sue because the dog bit him. And he might get some money out of it. Who knows? But listen, I'm not trying to get bit out of no dog. Unless, unless I know I'm fully right and I'm going to really get some money, being bit by a dog ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? And especially... It, it, that's all I'm going to say, man. It's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, uh, like I said, I absolutely agree. Uh, it was it was uncalled for, but then again, like like we said before, we didn't see the full version of the footage, but I really don't think we have to because that was enough just to describe what, what, the, what the cop's interior motive was anyway, and it was to basically use his dog to bite somebody. Mm -hmm. By force. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. you don't want to get down? I'll make you get down by force. Yeah, yep, yep. That's basically I, I, what it I'm is. I'm not going to try to make, I'm not going to try to put you down, but this canine will. Yeah. Like, you And then if you and then if you fight the dog, you, it's like, it's you get in trouble for that too. So yeah. I'm a police officer. Yep. Just visually, knowing that the country is in a certain state of mind, you literally do that. 
you should have just waited for backup, homie. Like you already know, and 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 I'm blaming the cop just as much as I'm blaming the guy, because you already know how they're gonna spin this, and now your yeah. life is ruined. You're gonna look at look be looked at. You might not even be racist, but you're going now. People are gonna totally believe that you're racist. They're gonna say, "Oh, this guy is racist," and now you can't go nowhere without people knowing that you were a racist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's and it's crazy because a lot of times people just be doing their job, but you gotta, you have to assess a situation. If the guy don't look like he's threatening you and he ain't doing it, then why would you sick the dog on him, homeboy? That was stupid. Yeah. I don't care if you if you think you're doing your job. You know what I'm saying? Why would you well, sick the dog on him? Evidently, he thought he was doing his job because he told his uh, colleagues, you know what I mean? Well, I just I warned him. I told him because the one cop was like, yo, why'd you do that? He was like, why'd you do that? And he was like, well, I warned him. I told him. I told him I was going to sick the dog on him. But the cop was basically insinuating without without having to say it out loud, like there was no need for you to do that. Yeah, like you you stupid. Like, th exactly. Yeah. The situation yeah. was the guy standing against the truck. Like, do you always have to feel as though that, that if somebody don't listen to you, you got, like, if the guy ain't doing nothing, he ain't threatening you, trying to kick you, ain't got no weapon or nothing, then you should be able to stand next to him on stand next to him on the truck. And say, listen, bro, you got a warrant. You know what I'm saying? And I know you probably hate to hear this. I know it's an inconvenience, but we need to settle this. We don't want nothing to happen to you. That's how you're supposed to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? And you get more out of that. You don't get on there and tell them, oh, you better get down. You better get down. Get down now. Get down now. You think people go on me? Like, nobody's going to respond to that easily. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to sick the dog on you. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. It's like, okay, dog, come on. You know what I'm saying? You got to be more You got to be more of a, and I'm not saying that cops need to be polite to everybody because trust and believe they don't need to be polite to everybody. But you got to assess the situation. If this guy looks like he's not doing nothing wrong, <laughs> and he's on a job he's on his job you know what I'm saying like, like come on bro he's driving trucks yeah, he's agree. on the job like, I agree oh man anyway man it is what it is sketch pad you know what it is man good luck to that brother man I'm sorry that happened to you man police officers some of y'all need to really assess situations and stop uh, just thinking everybody's the worst person in the world and a lot of y'all do it because y'all got no action when y'all act and it's like oh here we got, got one it's like fire departments. Whenever there's a fire, it could be a small fire in the house. They wreck the whole house. They literally come in and crush the walls. Be like, oh, it could be a fire in the wall. Be like, no, it was a fire right here. It was a small fire. No, it could be in the walls. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how they do. Anyway, man, we out of here. Sketch man, you know.